a question today, which I think is a good question. Um, and it is from somebody and their name is Jara H. Dahlenberg. I hope I said that right. And it's, the question is, can you please talk about porn in prison? I haven't heard anyone discussing it before and I've only been locked up in an Australian prison. So I haven't had the experience of these fun jails. Do the screws let the do the screws let you have porn or is it like a commodity being brought in there? What if you need a toss and your Sally's in the cell? Do you kick each other out or question mark? All right. So all right, I'm gonna answer that one for you. But firstly I'd just like to say that um jail in an Asian prison, that would have been absolutely crazy. And I would love the chance to be able to have a chat to you about it here on my channel. Um, if that's something you'd like to do, get back to me and we'll uh, have a chat about that. Um, so yeah, that, that that's a good question. So um, I guess you mean like porn in all forms, like, you know, be it reading porn or watching porn as in dvds or you know something like that so i actually remember um my very first time going to the map and um i remember i was in the three out cell in unit two and um yeah one of the dudes that was in there and had already been there for a little while he's like oh there'll be porn on at this time of night you know and i was thinking in my head like that's crazy and like the first thing I said was, I hope you don't think you're going to, um, you know, do your thing and uh, while we're in here. And uh, he said, no, but I'm just letting you know. But anyway, um, also I might add that, you know, it's just odd for me to know that I, I don't think I'd be able to um, get the job done knowing that um, 700 other blokes are doing it at the same time. That's just weird for me. But anyway, um, yeah, so I, I remember that that, that that used to happen. Now, I don't don't know how often that used to happen. I actually can't remember it happening, happening again after that, to be honest. Um, but I, I, I do know of it happening a couple of times at Port Phillip. Um, so at Port Phillip, um, they play DVDs every night. And so... Um, you know, sometimes screws um, bring in like, you know, whether it be their USB stick or whatever, whatever plays their movies. And um, so they they bring them in and there has been a couple of times at Port Phillip where porn has, um, you know, graced its presence on our screens. Um, but generally, as as a rule, like it's, it's like so... It's, it's that bad now that in prison that you can't even walk around without a T-shirt on. So, like, um, a, a lot of the female guards got together and made a big thing about it. And, um, like, I'm not being sexist at all, but, like, you know, you, you're working in a male prison. Like, of course, you know what I mean? Um, there's going to be males walking around with, with, with no shirt on in summer and whatnot. So... But um, that, that's how bad it's got. So, like, you can't even have – so I remember, like, FHM magazine and then there was um, – oh, God, I can't remember. But the, you, can, you, couldn't, you can't even have, like, a People magazine. If it's got anything that's, like – if it, anything at all that's got, like, a female, um, like, showing her – private parts um then it's not allowed you know so even some of the um the magazines where they're not showing any private parts at all but just in like you know very suggesting lingerie or bikinis or, or whatever and um you know they're not allowed so um yeah it's it's, it's pretty crazy that like I, I i think that like you know that the magazines should at least be allowed you know um I, I think it's gotten to to a time where it, it's pretty pretty silly like you know if if these people that are making these magazines or whatever make putting these pictures out there you know if that's something that they want to do 
then it's no one else's business, to be honest. And, um, you know, like I think that that, that we're, we've all gone a bit silly about it. And, um, yeah, I think that, you know, um, it's 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 just, well, it's ridiculous, you know, that, that if that's something that the, the models are wanting to do, then and if people are wanting to read that, then, then that's also their choice as well. And it shouldn't be a decision that's made by someone else, like, that's for sure um isn't that like what we're trying to get like change these days like not having other people make decisions for us and it just seems like it's very counter in in no i'll say productive um but you know um you know does does porn make its way in there 100 percent. so like you know you guys know how easy it is so like um you can get like memory cards or whatever you want to call them, USB sticks that that are tiny, like they're absolutely small, and like one of the easiest things that you can smuggle into prison, and um, and they do. And uh, can you hear my dog snoring? Zeusy boy, Zeus. Yep, he's awake now, but he'll just start snoring again in a sec. But um, yeah, you know, so. Um, they're, they're one of the easiest things to, to get smuggled in. And, um, not only that, it's one of the, the easiest things that you can get like a, um, a screw to bring in and like, you know, a lot of them won't, won't bring smokes in or whatever. And, but a lot of them will, will bring a USB stick with some porn or, or, um, you know, movies just normal movies on it and um yeah i think that's pretty funny because once they do that i've told you before in other videos once they do it for you once you have them cold and they pretty much unless they leave that job they have to do whatever you say really and um you know a couple of false threats to them is how, how that gets done but anyway you know that's other videos and um so yeah the screws do bring it in they are easy to get smuggled in and um you know and also i might add that every single screws desk has like um maybe two sometimes three computers there and so you know a lot of screws will print you out some pictures you know um and like they, they will print stuff out for you at port phillip um i know at government jails they won't do that for you but if you say oh can you have a look on google and get this for me i want to learn how to do this or something like want to learn how to do this at the gym some screws will do that for you there but i know at government jails they they generally don't do that um but yeah it, it does make its way in there and um you know you know, keep in mind, like I said, like they did ban it and, you know, you're not even allowed to walk around with no T-shirt on. Um, that's how bad it's got. So, um, and in regards to like, you know, wanting to do your business, um, you know, 100% um, that y your Sally will will get out of the cell you know generally you're not going to say oh yeah mate can you jump out the cell and have a wank you know like generally that doesn't happen you know what i mean like um but like you can say to your sally like you know i've got to go to the toilet or i've got to use the shower or rah, rah, rah. and you know need i say any more i don't need videos getting pulled down because of trolls but um anyhow um yeah, that's 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 porn in prison, and I think that was a a very good question. And um, yeah, I myself haven't heard anyone address that issue either. So, you know, I thought I'm definitely going to answer that one with a video. And also keep in mind, um, Jara, that um, you know, I would like to talk about your um Asian jail experience on here on the chaos chronicles if that's something that you'd like to do um yeah get back to me and um yeah we'll make that happen and um you know i guess that leads me to saying that you know drugs jail and crime shit 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 and a fake bullshit life and um you know drugs and crime will end you up in jail and um you know 
don't do these things and you won't have to worry about, you know, getting crappy um, porn magazines that you know that 30 other dirty blokes have had their hands on or, or, or a, a USB stick with the same stigma attached to it, you know. Anyway, it's a shit life anyway and, um, you know, don't do it. All right. I've been the Cast Chronicles. We are out. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk the out of here or not.